Hey guys, this is Crapunter, and welcome back to Attila Total War. In the last episode, we spent a fair amount of time just waiting for the Romans to uh, have their settlement laid siege to, and most fortunately, our well, our potential ally, uh, enemies uh, attacked the Roman settlement, which we're actually, I think, for the minimum objectives for the campaign, uh, were under control, like that we had to take control of. Now. Luckily, we were able to do this, and we now have control of her. Downside is she got royally screwed by said nations. So, um, yeah, we're going to have to fix her up a little bit. But afterwards, we're going to have a few province capitals, which means then all the surrounding settlements, hopefully, should give us, you know, should give us a fighting chance against any kind of counterattack. So, the turn is over. And the workshops are over. There is a food shortage. Whereabouts? Oh, that's only because of that. Right. Um, town center, farmstead, artisan. Yes, artisan. What are you? Um, convert. I need 10,000. How much are we going to get? We're we'll only getting 1,000 per turn. Um... could do actually if we get a granary first it adds extra it, it, it gives us a small bonus in stuff you're not happy you are still a civitas can I not convert you no because you're 8728 not really good you're not happy because of reasons why are you not happy because you still have I got a granary. So why are you not happy? We will get extra food and everything. But for some reason, you just don't want to be happy. It's just one. Up to 4% bonus. Um, you're still kind of... If we have a look at the settlement details... Can I not have a look at the settlement details? I can. Uh, instability, one minus one per turn. Decreases per turn. Okay, so... The religious difference is quite strong, so... If I change the... If I change it to... Um, hmm... Right, if we change it so we have more of a religious smash, because this this shouldn't... I mean, obviously, the settlement is not under um, our control. Taxes. Instability. Hopefully we can get rid of that and... It comes back into frame. Um, you're still kind of pissed off, but that's because you've been under siege for a long last time. I can't abandon the settlement. It's like we've just captured the damn place. Uh, you are here. Ah, oh, Berlin. Awesome. A look at your character traits. Let's see. Construction costs. No, I don't need that. Ah. Oh. So who ranked up? Was it you? Oh, it was you! Oh, okay. Um, no. Yep, melee defense. Melee attack. Right, you're good. You'll be fine there. And you, you are a governor? No, you are a commander. Good to see. What are you? No. Oh, I can add something. Why not? Uh huh. Yeah, that'll do. You can kill more, but you can get killed more. You're not too happy, but then again, also, in about two turns, we shall have extra public order, and it's a chieftain's hall. 
So that'll be bonus. And then I can send it over to this army who then will prop it. Which is nice. Right, so at the moment it's just kind of maintaining control of our settlements. This settlement is doing fantastic, which is great. Er Erbiz is also doing quite well, which is another good sign because, you know, it means we can actually kind of forget about those two. It's now just trying to get these bloody settlements that used to be Roman, but are now under our control. And if we can just get enough cash to um, do something with that, maybe we could do something with it. What are we doing at the current moment? We are researching weapon stuff. Defined military tradition. I remember that, yeah. Cool. Let's end the turn here then. So at the moment, it's looking a bit like we're going to have to wait for a couple of turns, which is not what I really want to do, especially since these turns tend to go really quickly. Like, it speeds through the campaign, and you're like, mm, not sure I really want that. Alamans are doing something. What? We're not sure. Just having my uh, traditional cappuccino with a campaign. My Eastern Roman foes are... And also the Western Roman foes are doing something. But nothing against me. Yay! <laughs> well, the Eastern Roman Empire, I'd be very surprised if they came... Um, up to attack, and the Western Roman Empire, well, I wouldn't be super, super surprised. I would be... I wouldn't think that they would attack, considering they've also got themselves rebellious people. Hey! They're gone. Matter of state. What's this? Male faction members may also attempt to secure political offices. Shut up. What's this? A large stone circles. I don't know if it's long since a site. Barbarians. Celtic ritual. I'll be nice. It's like, yo, if they drew anything, then, you know, then we'll deal with it, but. Ready for orders. How are you doing? Predicted gone now. Yeah, it looks like it's gone. Nope, one more instability. So hopefully by that point we'll have nullified it and it just becomes zero. By which point it will go back to one. Yay. But it does give us extra food, fertility and other stuff. So maybe it might swing it around a bit. Maybe. Just maybe. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. You are one more turn away from being happy, but you're still not really happy. Because you're an asshole. Ready for you guys are sucking the living life out of my mercenaries. Not happy. Uh, clubmen. I'm looking forward to replacing those clubmen. Clubmen never work. Ever. Um, Provinces. Uh, yeah. Once again, we have to wait the dreaded turn. End turn. Oh, provincial governor. Who and where? Ah, yes, right. Um, screw it. Alright, cancel that. Augustia, new governor. Influence is gained through personal accolades such as governorship or appointment to political office, as well as achievements in battle. It may then be invested towards carrying out or reacting to political intrigues, meaning that a successful general in your family can be highly effective in political matters. Of course. Uh, view governor details. So hopefully he's going to keep the people happy. We can't... Um, what's this one? Oh. Uh, might of law. Keep the pagans happy. And then hopefully we'll be able to reduce the thing per turn, and then hopefully that will happen, which then upon I can inspire whatever, and then we can kind of get back into the swing of things. That looks like the Eastern Rome, so Western Roman Empire rebels. So that, oh wow, two regions have been completely knocked out. Oh dear. Them be down. And that one, and that one! Holy shit! Rome is dying! I mean, look, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, six settlements completely gone. It's ridiculous. 
I wonder what that symbol means. Like some kind of like maybe that's their capital now. Oh hell yeah, it's their capital. Look at that. Medlonium's destroyed. And oh my days. Rome is still safe at the moment, but holy shit, the Western Roman Empire is pretty much crumbling. Oh dear. This is um This is unusual. <laughs> holy snap. Right, end of the turn. Actually, no, we need to save. That's really creepy, that is. Jeez. I mean, I know that the Romans are already screwed because, you know, let's face it, Roma versus... Rome versus, you know, Western Rome is always doomed. But I hadn't realized they were that buggered. Jeez. I feel sorry for the Romans now, to be honest with you. It's like the largest nation to ever cr walk these lands. Basically the nation that completely changed the face of Europe. And here they are, less than, what? Well, admittedly they went around for a few thousand years, so that's something. But still, in that time, they just fell apart. Oh, hello. Their best general falling to their knees. It's Octorian going to be like dead in a second. Macromanians. Oh, shit. I see fire. Oh, dear. That's kind of disturbing. Who the hell was there? Yay! And it's a noble one, not an unnoble one. Oh, religion. Well, whatever. Yeah. A good winter. Holy shit. We don't good. Um. 2,500. Hmm. I think it would make sense to actually have something along these areas. Just so that way it adds kind of a peacefulness to it. Holy shit, they're gone. <sighs> Jesus Christ, they've died. Look at that! Two regions completely desolate. Okay, so yeah, because of that, we fixed that. Ah, does that mean we can recruit a dude? No, we cannot. Why not? Because of that. I hate you, son of a bitch. Right. I know it's kind of a waste, but... Fuck it, we need more levy. Just get a couple more. We just need a couple more dudes, and then hopefully they'll shut the hell up. Well, at least the food consumption... Oh, the jeez, the food consumption went down by half. Bloody hell. It's like, because I don't know what to do next, it's like everything's falling slightly apart. Just, just a bit, just a tad. That's another bloody region gone. They are literally... Ripping us a new one. Jeez. At least there'll be one more turn for this one, and then um, next turn we'll be able to get the um, the granary. Granary? No, religious building. Ugh. We'll get kind of a bonus on both regards, actually, which is not bad. What? What the hell, video game? Like a completely dis. No. There's this thing doing its thing again. Right, so save. I have the Langer bar. So if I go to that, goes to that. Just deletes my freaking save. What the hell? Anyway, um, they're running low on. Oh dear. They're suffering from attrition, and also the fact that their nation is completely screwed. Well done. And one more turn before the granary is sorted. Hopefully that will do something. I'm not saying it's going to completely fix it, but it might do something. To be honest with you, I'm kind of worried. If we can't survive in the north, then we'll have to somehow um, push west. Possib possibly I might have to try and invade Britain to... Um, potentially survive because, you know, the Huns hopefully won't go across the ocean. 
finger quote, hopefully. Oh. It's like we're on that stage. You brought this on yourselves. Your people will curse your name when rivers run red with their blood. The fuck? Wait, so we're at war with... What? Why? Yay! Doesn't really matter. It's just... How much? 9,000. GG. So wait, now they're at war with us? What, what the hell? Just when I'm cleaning my fucking settlement. <laughs> no, it's alright. We've completely fixed the buildings anyhow, so it's not like they actually present a threat to us. It's just, for some reason, they've gone a bit mad. Uh, food shortage has been resolved, which is good. They have declared war upon us. We now have a granary, which has severely reduced their um, annoyances, which is great. Downside is, we now have to... Um, Excuse me. Uh, figure out a way. Hey, Argentorium is happy as well. Technically, <laughs> technically. Jeep. Yeah, I'll we go with young wolves. Fighters. Just I'll recruit a young wolf, so that way we can have you know something positive. If we can just have everything positive, and leave it like that. Fantastic. Thirsty for battle. Bloody hell. I'm probably doing this slightly the wrong way. Probably. But at the same time, it's like... I don't want to give up my settlements just yet. I'd like to know that I can move down towards... I mean, that said, look at... Oh my god. Oh my god, is Rome gone? Oh my god, I think Rome is gone. Oh, that is Rome. Rome's gone. Oh my god, this is a really disturbing episode. It's like everyone around me is dying. and I mean, look, my allies potentially are dying. The guys who I were p considering to attack and now they're dead. Oh, my days. This is creepy. I mean, look, Medellum's down. Medellonium, Pavatium, Genua, uh, Genua and um, the other place. I can't remember this one's place's name, but still alive. There's like a little chain of settlements there, but that's it. Roma is finished. Roma got killed. That's pretty freaky. Jeez. Well, whilst we're waiting, I suppose um, we could have a bit of a chat about the late, the my opinion, I suppose, on the recent DLC whoring that um, Sega or Creative Assembly, whoever's made the decision, it's still a poor one. I mean, I'm not so against the idea. Okay, best way to phrase it, I don't like the fact. That, oh, okay, because, you know, logical. <laughs> it's like, we've got more dudes. And they're like, ah! Damn you for having a large army. God damn it. That's respectful. Yay, he's actually quite nice. Anyway, so like I was saying, um, oh, we're going to have a bloody rebellion, aren't we? I think so. Mm -hmm. No, but I think... Um, I don't really agree with what they're doing. Um on this matter. Like, I honestly don't think it's a good idea. In all, in all seriousness, to have so many DLCs in one hit so soon after the release of the game, it's like, I mean, no offense, Creative Assembly, but if you're going to have nations in Scotland, in, you know, Britain, in Ireland, then just let us play them. I know you want to make money, but you'll already make money on the game. It's not like you are, it's not like Total War is going down the pits or something. Though, ironically, and it's always the way with gaming companies, and they never seem to learn. It's like, they make the decision that they want more money, so they don't allow you to play certain features in a nation. And because of this, obviously the sales go down, because people are not wanting to buy it. Unfortunately, some, pe some people do, some people don't. I'm like 50-50. You know, but so people will buy it, and people won't. But then maybe their projected profits list 
isn't as high as it used to be. And they're like, oh shit, um, they're not buying it. Oh, what are we going to do? We're going to do make more DLC. And so they make even more DLC, charge, you know, a, a price for it, and less people buy it. And it's like this stupid psychology that bloody whore, you know, money, hung money hungering uh, profiteers just keep doing. And it's like, dude, you don't need to do it. In all seriousness, the best thing you can do right now is just say, right, sod the DLCs, we'll go with something else. Like, maybe as a, I mean, the pre-order pack for the Vikings, understandable. The Langobards, uh, okay. Or, oh, no, the Middle Nations, okay. Not really what I would say is a good idea, but it's an idea. And then, of course, the Celts. It's like, hmm, now you're taking a bit too far. And they have, they still yet to introduce any blood. Like, I, I know some people out there really enjoy Total War without blood, and that they say it's a better experience without blood. Personally, I disagree, and say that, yes, it's nice to have a Total War game that doesn't have blood, but at the same time... Oh, nice. At the same time... He's a governor, isn't it? Yes, he is. Um, you can't constantly... Um, here we go, even more food. You can't um, have a, a video game about medieval, or sorry, of, of ancient, you know, combat. Any, you know, of old, you know, uh, historical warfare, I think the term would be best used, and not have the ability to see blood. I mean, sure, if you want to ensure that you can't, like, if you to make sure that players of younger ages can play it, sure, I don't mind a DLC. In fact, that makes, to me, Sounds a bit weird, but it makes sense. You know, it guarantees that the child who is not meant to see it isn't meant to see it, which is good. But on the other hand, I also think, dude, it's it's blood. Get used to it. You know, I, I know it sounds kind of harsh, but it's like you can't expect to play this game and not want to see violence. It's, it's I'm sorry, it's rather silly to, ooh, shit. <laughs> Rome is fucked. I just saw their capital go down. <gasps> Not good. Not good. So, we're Rome. How goes your war? Shit. Fair enough. Bloody hell. But now, like I was saying... Way he got his rank up. Good. What's this? <laughs> Not quite right. Uh, extra. You know what? I don't think I need that for this guy. Uh, I'll be good. Um, mm. I'm thinking more food would be a good idea. Especially, especially since we've got um. It'll uh, be good to actually get that, and then hopefully I can convert it. Can I convert this? Still 8,000. Mm. Not really great, but, you know, better than nothing. But no, I mean, like I was saying... Okay, so let's save that. But like I was saying, I always find... Uh, with these sort of things, I, I guess you could say I'm sort of insensitive to those who can't take violence. But it's like... I think there is a limit to what you can pl do without violence, and then it just gets unrealistic, or at least it doesn't really fill you with immersion. It's more like a, oh, okay, so, um, you're just doing that now with no expectation of blood. Fair enough. <laughs> I don't know. It, I'm, like I said, I'm not against people who don't like violence. I just, I think sometimes it makes more sense to me when I see violence. It's like, if someone stabs you, expect blood. It's the same kind of thing for me. It's like, if someone, if, if like, if someone walks up to you, or, or I should say, um, Dramatic Spearman. I think I'll hold off those until, like, I absolutely have to. Hmm. Let's have a look-see. So, we've had a number of turns. It's now 403 AD, which is cool. And still, we have... We've yet to make any major pushes, but on the other half, we are also... You know, we're still kind of still yet to do I mean admittedly we've we've yet to do anything but in all honesty what I want to do is just solidify my position here because we've got one two three um, provincial capitals and what I'm gonna do afterwards is when these people are happy enough 
I'm going to transfer this army to Argentorium and then Argentorium's army to here, so that way they can be watching that. And because it's a provincial settlement, it's already got its own good defences, and then the village will hopefully be safe enough for me to um, push forwards and capture Vencinto. Because then if we have Vencinto, we then have... Um, an, albeit it's not a perfect gateway, technically speaking, that would have been a perfect gateway into Rome. But as it is no longer standing... I'll take what I can get. That said, we could go towards Colonial Agrippa. As it's... No, actually, it's not a bad idea. Because the Gauls at the moment have decided to go to war with me. For whatever foolish reason... Oop, just dropped my phone. Uh, for, for, some, for some foolish reason, the, the Gauls have decided to go to war with me. I love how every... <laughs> I love how they're going to war with me. It's like, oh, we heard you don't like Gauls. Well, fuck you. <laughs> Good times. Okay, like I said, I don't really know what I want to go for. P probably because Gaul ain't going anywhere, I might go for Vencinto first. As also, the Roman Empire is virtually on its knees. I mean, Christ Almighty. Most Roma itself is now but rubble. So, I'm fairly certain we're safe. Just, just a tad. Just, you know, just a bit. Anyway, uh, another turn. Oops! Made a mistake there. And the cappuccino is gone. Ah, oh, I do love me a bit of... Uh, I actually have a pint of cappuccino. I've got this... I, for my for my Christmas... I think it was Christmas? Yeah, it was Christmas. For Christmas, I um, got a uh, pint... A uh, pint uh, mug... For, uh, obviously for Guinness, as I'm a major fan of Guinness. It's a good drink, uh, only when you're older. And <laughs> apparently my entire family just was like, Yo, we know you, we heard you liked Guinness. Shove. And so I got, like, Guinness slippers. Oh, hello, what's this? A sports son has fought with a prominent member of, an, uh, of a rival tribe. It's tensions, elder look to you. Okay. This ain't good. Your spoilt son has fought with a prominent member. Attention, the elders look to you. Chastise him. Uh, chastise him. Oh, hello. Oh, shit, they're under siege. They are under siege. Ooh, right. Okay, um... I guess it will be Colonia Agrippa then. Yep, Colonia Agrippa it is. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> We've made such a good decision. Hmm, nice. Let's have a look, see. They're still kind of pissed. If I get these guys to go on double march, yeah, they can reach that. You can kind of reach that. Kind of, but I think what I'll do is I'll put you on the double march. I don't care how tired you are. Ready for battle. Dun Damn it. Boom. Ready for battle. Minus four. My uh you need more dudes, don't you? Uh, retrain? Oh, yeah, I think we need to retrain these guys. Yeah, so it's not so bad. I'm not happy, but... Integrity. Why are you integrity? Oh, is it because of... Um, change per turn? Oh, it's attrition. It is pretty much attrition. Might as well go to... Uh, have less income. Because why not? Wow, you actually took attrition during the march. GG. I did not know you took massive attrition during that. Snap. Alright. Nope. Probably be so much better if I could retrain this freaking population. have it in my own bloody public order. Because then I could actually enjoy a burg. But 
unfortunately this game it does not want me to. The They're dumped. All I'm gonna say. At least these guys are alright. Colonial Agrippa, they're at war with me. They've still yet to make any moves. Let's have a little bit of a save here, just in case. Right, we're probably going to have to deal with the rebellion over by um, Augusta Ventilacorum. But... Oh, wow, I actually pronounced that perfectly. GG. <laughs> right, let's have a look-see. Apologies to all you bloodhounds out there. Normally, I would attempt to do some form of aggressive maneuvers, but right now, I just want to solidify the position. I will push up towards taking Colonial Agrippa as, let's face it, another settlement in the eyes of, um, you know, in our hands is better than in their hands. And better still, we may yet be able to trade with other nations, which could improve our, which could improve our capacity to... Um, well, it could improve our money-making capacity. And then, if not, I can always just take Britain. Whereupon I'm guaranteed to survive. <laughs> unless unless the Huns come over in boats. But if that's the case, I'll fight them to the death. Oh, dear. Uh, let's have a look. See, an unscrupulous rival. Thank the Emperor. Where is this? Oh, praise be to the Emperor. Oh, wow, those guys are still surviving. I think, obviously, they're going to be... Good spring! Yay! For the tribe. Couple of turns, so I'm not minding that. Could do with actually capturing a bit of... See, I love the fact that... Oh, okay, well, Britain has one settlement. You know, of all the settlements, Britain is still doing well. I'm like, yay! <laughs> People aren't killing one another. Yay! Um, you're doing well, actually, which is a nice, pleasant surprise. Um, Ready I'm trying to think, orders. what can we do to improve? Well, obviously, let's keep it like so, because I've got like a massive army there, and that will keep the people happy. But oh, okay, it's annoying because like I want to do something, but it's like I don't have the finances to do it, and it's like, god damn it! I want to trade with people, but they won't! I've run out of trading partners! Gah! Okay, let's have a look. Add off, uh, trade agreement. I trust you come with honorable words that I can yes? No! You son of a bitch! Come on, trade agreement. Well, I uh, don't want to have to pay you, but fine, I will pay you. 600? Yes! Hail to the yeah! Reflected by increased income from trade routes over the life of the agreement. They apparently like A me. Flapping tongue that speaks without wisdom is not welcome. Do you want money to add payment offer six five hundred and forty? There you go. Come on. No, you are stupid. You are very foolish, sir, because you are missing a great opportunity to give me money. 109. Yeah. It's better than nothing. It's better than nothing. I'm going to be all standing still and normal stuff. You. Boom as well. People are happy. Uh, everything's so expensive and I don't have enough... Like, I have an army. It's fantastically large. And I can't bloody use it. So stupid. Actually, that said, how? What if, what if I left? What if I left? Please say. What I, oh come on! Really? You don't like the fact that I'm oh, smegging hell? I just want to have an army to watch the living shit out of this place. Is that so hard? Let's have a look. Agent recruiting. I'm going to keep that guy because he has an ability to do shit. For the tribe. Right. One. Come, fight for us, uh, how much in upkeep? 203. Jesus we Christ. Need good fighters. Actually cheaper to recruit Germanic hunters. 
death in battle, there is no finer ending. Right, I'm going to send this guy over to here. Oh, this is kind of handy. Ready for orders. Right, that should be enough. Um, that's a really crap movement range. Get moving, you wretched. Right, get moving, get moving, get moving. Get right, I need to attack someone, god damn it. Give me that target. Right, we're attacking Colonia Agrippa. Shit, they have become better. Warriors all. Okay, they would appear to be in a strong position, but that said, we have a strongish army. What do they have? Border guards, border guards. Not really good attacks. Spears are better. I might just lay siege to them. Ready for battle. Just lay siege. Besieging settlement. Okay, they have onagers, which I am surprised at. As well as that, but I'm going to lay we siege to them. For the tribe. I'm going to just lay yeah. siege. Their guys are stock. They've got Kandari, which is that. Onagers, which is that. Thirsty for battle. And Longstand. Well, at least we have a little bit more money incoming on that. And if we can capture that settlement, that will be better. That will be good. Admittedly, I kind of want to... Um, Yeah, Vencinto's alright. We can just hold them off. I'm surprised at the sheer size of them, but then if I can cause attrition, they'll hopefully lose money, hopefully lose Attack! position. And hopefully stuff won't go bad. What's the polit- Oh, shit. <laughs> well, we're going to have a rebellion, regardless, unfortunately. I, d I don't think we're going to get away with the fact that we're going to have a rebellion. So we might as well upgrade these guys and give them slightly better stats, so that way we can actually somewhat do something. I'm not, in I'm not really impressed, in all honesty, with the um, the way you can't have low tier units anymore. Like, I kind of wish you could have that. I'm very much looking forward to the Steam Workshop being integrated into this thing because I will use mods, maybe not game breaking mods. Unfortunately, for some reason, Rome is. Well, admittedly, I'm, I'm, I learnt my lessons from last time. I don't think I need to introduce the mid-flow through campaign, otherwise it's completely pointless. But on the next campaign, which will be some time away, because we are going to revert back to an older game after this one, um, I will be utilising mods, because mods, I think, would make this game better, especially ones that mean that you can actually have a slightly better economy system working where it's not like you're taxed for every action you do an offer of peace from us should not be spurned no screw you i know you're probably going to attack me but i don't care come on come on come on come on <laughs> really god damn it can i not Can I not actually take in position? Oh, of Get course. It, I cannot recruit, and I can't change it either. Changed it? You were changed it. Uh, besieging forces. Yeah. Good. The enemy are completely surrounded, and are going to be suffering men. Men? Yes. <laughs> They're suffering men at the moment. Damn men. They're causing major Ready problems. Oh boy, this is going to be interesting. God, if this place has a dock, it'll be a miracle. It's just like, hey, did you know you could trade with us now? Hallelujah. <laughs> Give me money. Um, Quadrians, they're over there, aren't they? They really like us. They're still deteriorating, apparently. Why? What is wrong with them? Great power. We're not a great power. Greetings, friend. Trade agreement. Speak together of whatever you wish, but bring words that can warm our hearts. How about a 660? What's wrong with you? What is wrong? Literally, what is wrong with you? You mad 